There's nothing like chilling with my girls Just me and my divas taking over the world Y'all, hey, it's your girl A, and today's video is being sponsored by Lula Hair. So, guys, I've worked with this company quite a few times, and this one right here is one of their 9x7 ready to wear, get out the door, you already know wigs. It does come with the combs in the attachment, which I'm so happy about, and it also has an adjustable strap. This is the one thing that I'm happy about. It got some combs because people be skimping on the cones, but Ula Hair got you covered. They are looking out for your safety when it comes to wearing wigs. They wanna make sure that your wigs stay on. Now, this wig was already pre-plucked, pre-bleached, pre-cut for your girl. So all I have to do right here is go ahead and style it. Now, the one thing that I'm going to do is I'm gonna make a part on the opposite side because that's what I want to do. Okay, girl. And I'm gonna just use my wax stick and go ahead and create my part. So I did say this is a nine by seven, so it's nine inches across and um, across your hair perimeter line and then seven inches going from your hairline towards the back. So it gives you a nice amount of parting. I like the fact that they did really well when it came to the actual parting and bleaching they did a great job with the bleaching now mind you you guys i did wash this wig because i just think it's really really important to wash your wigs prior to just wearing them and that's what i like to do okay so i did go ahead and wash this it just gives the hair a better flow and also it will help with any type of flyaways now just to train my part and keep it in motion in place i'm going to be using my hot comb now this is the part where i honestly would say if you have a canvas blockhead a canvas mannequin blockhead then i would definitely say do your hot combing on your canvas blockhead only because I don't know about y'all but i don't want my skin being burnt i don't like it at all and i am recovering now from a recent burn from the hot comb so i really would say if you have a canvas blockhead go ahead and use that to make all of your pressing needs you can always get one off of amazon now i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to have to hairspray this unit down only because when the wig did come to me the lace was kind of bent upwards and it wasn't laying flat you know what i didn't wash this wig i didn't i i totally did not i should have but i didn't this one didn't have a bad smell at all but like i was saying i did decide i needed to add hairspray because if you did show, see in the beginning of the video when i showcased the wig on the mannequin head the lace was kind of pointing upwards so i would have should have either laid it down with some spray or water or i should have just washed it but because i did not do that i'm just going to use some hairspray to allow the wig to lay down that way the lace will form and mold to my hair so that is the reason why i'm using the hairspray and i definitely had to use the comb area in the front because that's where the lace was kind of like bent upwards now like i was saying they did an amazing job on this unit the parting the amount of parting the bleaching they did a really great job and like i was saying i did not wash it but normally sometimes i will depending on the state of the hair i have noticed that a lot of the units that are already pre-styled for you they do have like very very uh, like a lot of flyaways so you definitely have to tame those but this one was really good the condition of the hair was great and so forth now you see i did use my brush to put on my concealer and i'm also going to use the opposite brush to blend it in that's because this bru this brush right here does not have any concealer on it and i don't want it so white looking and opaque i do see a lot of people when they have their parts it's very noticeable and i feel like you should really blend it in as best as possible so i do use two different brushes to achieve that desire 
desired look now this part right here is just where i'm going to go ahead and put some curls in it using my new wand curler which i absolutely do like a lot this hair is 24 inches in length and the cap size fits really well even if it's like it's like a dome cap to me and i do like the fit of this one it's not buckling in the back it's not too big there's no gaping or gapping so it does fit really well plus like i said they put the combs in it and i appreciate that now ula hair has some very affordable hair and i will definitely link everything down below for the this particular unit as well as where you can follow ula hair and purchase any other units affordable hair is the way to go i do like the texture of this hair the 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 uh, luster on this wig is really great but also i do like the fact that there's not any flyaways there's no flyaway hairs which is great the hair is not dry it's not over overly dry or anything they did a really good job with this unit so i give them their props on this one very very pretty and very good to go so if you're needing a wig that's already pre-plugged, pre-bleached, and pre-styled, you can definitely go and check out Ula Hair and see what they have to offer. Also, I think these wigs are great for beginner wigs because you don't really have to do much. Now, just to hold my curls in, I'm going to use my favorite spray, which is the Aussie Instant Freeze. And as you've seen, I did use it to actually install the unit and adhere it, which I do love this hairspray a lot. It gives great hold, 24-hour instant freeze, meaning the more layers you spray on of this hairspray, the faster it's going to dry so on the third layer i don't really allow it to get tacky i just apply the unit downwards it will also help in the melt now as you see here now we're going to go ahead and create just a little bit of a swoopage baby hairs not nothing drastic but just a little bit sometimes i feel like i need them i'm not really sure why but i, I think a lot of it has to do with uh, my head is kind of long i have a i have a long head and i try to kind of camouflage and take away from it but i do have a long head and like i said i just think some of the baby hairs will help me with <laughs> camouflage in my head now look how sleek this hair is now if you're wondering what is that white stuff in the hair that is too much hairspray now if you're wondering does that Aussie instant freeze get white it does not turn white when you're wearing it it does not at all but when it's on the surface of your hair and you spray too much you'll definitely be able to see it And I'm just going to spray a little bit more because I was combing out some of the waves. But this hairspray will definitely freeze. Now, how cute is that? Girl, I think this wig looks good. It's a really nice unit. And I think I did my makeup real good, too. But we're going to spruce it up a little bit. I wanted to try these butterfly clips that I have purchased well over a year ago. And this is the length in case I forgot to mention. So we're going to try these butterfly clips. I got these well over a year ago. And I'll post a link down below of where I got them from. They're super affordable, you know. And I don't know if I want them all so we're just going to try it out and see how it looks but i thought it looked really good with this hair this hair is so sleek and pretty i'm just really shocked that i didn't have to wash it because of how sleek it is there's no baby hairs flying around or no excuse me loose hairs flying around they did a really good job with this unit you'll definitely want to check out ula hair like i said they have affordable units and all i really hope that you guys enjoyed this video i want to say thank you to everyone for coming through and supporting your girl also you guys as i always Always say i hope you all are having an amazing day as well as when you're watching this day evening or on the weekend but i will make sure to post everything down below for ula here you guys let me know what you think about these butterfly clips and i see a lot of people wearing them i don't see them with the gold but i do see them in colors but you let me know i love you all stay diva and divalicious bye